In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to install heat sinks on the Raspberry Pi 3 model B+. So the reason we want to install heat sinks is just to make sure that our unit doesn't overheat. It's not going to guarantee that the unit doesn't overheat, but it's going to help mitigate that. And if a unit does overheat, you run the risk of damaging the SD card, and you also, if the CPU overheats, then the throughput could be uh, throttled until um, until the unit cools off. So we're just going to add some basic heat sinks to help keep the temperatures down. So the main things to know about the layout of the card is that this chip here is the Bluetooth chip. I don't plan on using Bluetooth, therefore I am not going to apply a heat sink. This chip here is the central processing unit. Um, this is what I'm most worried about overheating, so we're definitely going to apply a heat sink to that. And then this is the network or Ethernet chip, which if you're planning on using Ethernet, you might want to also apply um, a heat sink to. So we'll try applying heat sinks to the CPU and the network so chip. Raspberry Pi comes with some heat sinks out of the box that we should be able to use. And there's some special thermal um, sticker on there. So let's just remove the adhesive here. Okay, and I am just going to apply this to the central processing unit. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing for the network chip. I'm just going to remove this adhesive here. So these are very basic heat sinks. You could also get fans and other apparatus to cool down the card, but this should help just mitigate, keep things less volatile in terms of temperature, because it'll try to draw away some of the temperature as it's running. And you know, if I encounter any issues with overheating as I start running my programs, we can come back to that. But for now, that should be a good start. So that's all I have for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for listening.